All right, today what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild a Bachman pancake motor. And what I got right here for you is this is the pancake motor out of an old U36B. And it's not running so good, plus it's really old. And what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild it. Now a lot of people want to know why would you want to rebuild this? Why wouldn't you just junk it? Well, one of the reasons why you would want to rebuild this is if you can see the mechanism here, it's extremely basic. Not only that, it's a plastic housing. This motor is completely isolated from the frame. The frame is plastic itself. And it uses a little PC board here on the top to do some of the electrical. This type of motor is excellent to practice your skills on. You can tune them up and get them running pretty good. They're extremely durable, contrary to what you may have been told. They, they come around nicely. But more importantly, if you're going to practice doing DCC, this is the easiest thing out there to do. They cost next to nothing. They're very common, and they're really easy to do. But the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and rebuild this motor here. It's not running so good. So let's put it on the track here. And I got it on the test bench. And let me show you what we got going on here. Yeah, you can, as you can see, it's um, at about 70% power, not really moving. So since this has all, picks up power only from the rear, let me show you something. If I lift it up, there you go. You hear the clicking? You see only one of the light bulbs works. This is definitely needs to be rebuilt, and it's not that hard. Excellent practice, and why don't we go ahead with the disassembly and let's get started. I don't have my tripod with me right now, so I'm going to explain this one step at a time, then I'm going to do it, and then I'll turn the camera back on. But what we got to do is, right here, right there, that screw holds this little plastic retainer in place, and that's how we get the, get the motor out. Then these two screws, these here, they hold the motor brushes and springs right here. And I'll tell you right now, those springs like to fly out when you take those off. So be very careful. Once those springs are gone, they are really gone. You're not probably ever going to find it ever again. Now, believe it or not, you can order from a spring company replacements that will work in there, but we don't want to have to do that. And we'll be waiting a week or two to fix this thing. Also, the motor brushes are in there. Don't lose them. Don't let them roll on the floor. If you're not sure what you're doing, I suggest doing this on top of a probably a little piece of carpet or something the first time so that anything that does fly out gets caught and you'll be able to find it. Um, I would also suggest having a really high powered flashlight in case you drop some stuff. And then another good idea is sometimes to work inside of a of like a uh, file box box top. That can help you too. But I think we're going to be okay today since this is not my first time doing this. We also got to take off these side frames. Now if you looked at my last U36B, the side frames were not this nice. This is a little later generation side frame, and they're a little bit better. In fact, we're probably not going to replace those at all. And we'll get to the wheels in a little bit here. Alright, first, let's go ahead. We're going to take everything out, take it all apart, and we'll see what we got. Alright, let's take a look inside the gearbox here. Now, the, these gears to me they don't look that bad uh, they're dirty they haven't been cleaned in a long time uh, the wheel sets are terribly dirty and this one doesn't appear to use track that's either dirt or a traction tire if it's a traction tire we'll replace it if it's dirt we'll just clean it off um, but there should be a traction tire on the front of this locomotive uh, I personally like traction tires on these 
they're easy to replace the brand new ones and they give the locomotive a lot more power uh, well, we got to get them gears out of there and get them cleaned up because we don't want all that dirt and oil in there some people load these things up with oil and that oil gets everywhere all right so I got the little retainer off as you can see here some of the gears out wheel sets out and the motors ready to come out but before I do that I'm gonna take this sharpie here I don't have any reason to believe this is wired backwards but I'm gonna since both wires are red I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark the front one with a little blue line here I'm not planning on replacing wires on this if I don't have to really not necessary I'm gonna mark it then I'm gonna take it apart and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me do this my hands are probably gonna get in the way but this is the part I was telling you about where springs like to go so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna hold my finger right here take my little screwdriver take out screw number one okay I'm holding my finger on there so that the spring doesn't fly away then let's just go for ease so you can see I just take my tweezers and pull that screw out pull that one off there's my front one with my blue mark on it all right here comes the tricky part all right now oh yeah oh boy it must have gotten a little hot she's it's it's uh it's got some decay there that's a good indication that this motor has seized up a few times so let's just peel this guy out well let's use a little screwdriver here see if we can't peel this guy back get him off without wrecking everything there we go okay it's loose now very carefully I'm gonna lift this guy up and there's gonna be a spring right under here there it is I don't know if you can see that too good see that little spring right there that's the guy we do not want to lose underneath him is the brush so we're gonna take him out very carefully I'm going to set him over here on the workbench. That's one. Now there's a brush in here. I'll get to him in a minute. Let's take this other guy out. Put my finger on there again. Alright. Let's carefully take this screw out. Put the other one with it. We're going to keep these motor parts together. Sometimes I like to keep them in a little box. Uh, those magnetic trays, these things are not magnetic. So that that doesn't work so good and those hard plastic trays these things like to bounce okay I'm ready I got my finger there take the little cover off and, all right there's the second one let's get him not squeeze too hard or we'll lose them that's two springs out all right we're good we didn't lose them now we'll just turn it over I'm a, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this off on the back side here there's a little since I'm already got it open, got the retaining clip off, I just push that in. And carefully, this thing, if it snaps, I could lose my two brushes that are in there. They're still in there. Okay, so now I got, there's two brushes in here. Brushes are little pieces of carbon. Look like little, little oil drums. You can just tap them out if they will come out. There's one. That other guy, he's stuck in there pretty good. That's okay. Because we're going to go ahead and we're going to disassemble. There's two screws here. We're going to take them apart. This motor housing is held together by those two screws I took out at first. There's a little screw that goes in here for the retainer. And then these two guys down here. Now i got to be very careful that I do not lose that brush in there. Like I've said to you guys before. Somebody once said... Get some good tweezers and learn how to use them well I'm practicing and I will say they do make things a little bit easier now if we can get this apart without getting crazy we're gonna get that brush out of there this thing is really dirty let's take the pliers in there or the screwdriver in there and we don't really want to lose these gears we'll just pry this guy apart we're still looking to get that brush out of there. 
He doesn't want to come out by himself. And that happens. But he's going to come out now. All right, so we got a gear. Put the gear in our gear pile. Listen, if you can't remember how these gears go back together, just take a picture of it first. All right, now contrary to what you may have read elsewhere, these two magnets in here, you are not going to wreck them by taking this thing apart. Oh, there we go. There's a... Nope, that, this is one. We need to put this guy somewhere so I don't get it mixed up. Let's put him over here with our springs. <clears throat> you will not wreck these magnets by removing the core. Oh, there, and there she is. There is our brush. Man, it's really dirty. You carefully got it. All right, there we go. Let's keep them over here. All right, you're not going to wreck this thing by taking it apart. It just isn't going to happen. And if, if you really get into trouble on this and you really wreck it, find some slot car racing guys. They will fix you right up. They've been working with these same motors forever, and they still do today. And that's how they do it. All right, now let's take a look at the core. We're going to clean that core. And yes, I am going to use the moto tool with a steel brush first let me get my springs or my parts put away here all right let's take a look at the parts okay there we go two springs four screws two brushes now our retainer our gears our wheels back wheels that's everything right there that's how simple this thing is. This is a very good way for you to learn what you're doing. These are hard to screw up, and as long as you don't lose any parts, they're pretty forgiving. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to polish this guy. At low speed, I'm going to polish him up. And you can see right now, I like them to be nice and shiny. And they polish easy. By the way, I'm using the the wire brush, the soft wire brush. Don't use that one with the copper shaft. That thing will rip this thing apart in, in two seconds. It'll rip it apart before you even know what happened. Let's go ahead and we're going to clean this guy up. I mean, this carbon black that you get on here, it's going to be on here anyways. But when we put this back together, it's going to be at least as good as it was when it was brand new and never been used. You see that tiny little yellow ring on there? That's a thrust washer. Well, there's one on each side. Uh, try not to lose those if you can. If you do lose them, it's not the end of the world. But they're there for a reason. They reduce friction. Don't polish this thing so much you tear the coating off of it. All right, that's all we really need to do. You can see that there, it's nice and shiny. Let's take a look at this gear on the other side. Uh, that gear needs to be cleaned a little bit and you wanna be very careful these tiny little wires. Don't go taking a really hard scrub brush to it. We're gonna take, we're gonna take a soft toothbrush I'm going to take a little bit of some purple power here. I'm just going to squirt that on there a little bit on the toothbrush. And I just want to clean this, this gear a little bit. Just, I mean, he's not really in that bad of shape. And I don't want to wreck nothing either. Now this purple power is going to evaporate by itself. Otherwise, that's good enough. Now we'll just take, as long as I got it out here, we'll take the airbrush and we'll just do a little compressed air. But not, we're not going to blow out our springs over there, right? We don't want to blow them off the table. Alright, that's good enough. That guy will be ready for us in a little bit here. Now, let's take a look at our motor housing. Okay, this is the side with the magnets in it. And what we need to do is we're going to clean this. And there are these two little metal collars in here. So we want to be somewhat careful not to lose those. 
This is the other side. And it has a little metal bushing in here. We want to clean all this old crusty grease out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take these under the sink with some dish soap and a very soft toothbrush. That's how I'm going to clean them. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the wheel sets. All four of them. And I'm going to clean all the gears with dish soap. Dawn dish detergent. And I'm going to get rid of all that grease. And they're going to be nice and clean when I come back.